Ha ha ha! Hey! Hi everybody! We finished the Tyranid Codex, so now the question is going to become what are we going to do next? What am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? And I've made my decision after some careful meditation on this subject, and the answer is the follows. The Tao. Yes, we shall celebrate because now I shall talk about the Tao. Why the Tao, you ask? Why? What's good about them? What's bad about them? What's the difference between them and any of the other uh, 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 codexes out there? And here's the answer, because when I looked at everything I did in my videos, the truth is, the truth is, the person I really sock it to the most is the Tao. They're screwed I mean, in, in many ways. The Grey Knights are almost uh, right after that. But mostly, you know, the entire videos tell you how to get an entire melee-oriented melee army across the table uh, and into hand-to-hand -to -hand as, as soon as possible. And who does that screw more than the Tau, I ask you? <clears throat> so, to give them a little fairness... Um, I'm going to do Tau as my next as as the next series on the sixth edition codexes. I know it was suggested to do orcs, but uh, quite honestly, they love people getting across the table to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat with them. So the Tau, but I'll give you a little sneak preview, and here's what it's going to be. You see, the first thing that I would suggest you to do when playing the Tau that's very important.